Hi everybody, this is Libby with LibbyWeb.com. Wanted to record a short video for you on how to share a PDF document that you have uploaded to your website or maybe it's on a website of some kind that you don't necessarily own but yet you want to share this information out to your fans or to your followers or just you know even on your personal profile this will work on uh, your Facebook profile this will also work in your Google Plus profile or page okay so first thing first is I'm sitting in an example document here and there is a really nice image at the very top of this document so the first thing I did was I used this program called Jing J-I-N-G and I just captured using the screen capture tool <coughs> excuse me the top portion of this document and saved this image okay and I've already done that right before I started this video so I have the image and I'm gonna highlight the URL at the top of the screen here and I've copied that now to my clipboard so I have that available and ready to paste over into Facebook so I'm first gonna go over to Facebook to my business page and this is my uh, sandbox just a sample website or fan page that I use for testing so I'm going to just show you what this looks like first. Um, if you were to just come in here and paste this link, this is what it looks like. Okay, so when you paste the link, you just get the link information down here. There's no image. Uh, it just doesn't look very appealing. And when it comes to um, your fans seeing this in the newsfeed, it's not really going to show up and people aren't really going to see it and it'll just fly right on by and it not get any attention. So. The strategy I like to use instead of just pasting the link in here this way is I like to upload a photo and I've like I said a minute ago I've already captured the photo so now I'm going to go over here and grab that image and I've got it right here so I've got the image already here so the link is still in here but I'm going to go right to the beginning of it and just post um, some copy all right and this is the uh, message that you want to give to your fans. It's the action that you need them to take. So in this case, uh, this happens to be an athlete guarantee about a uh, USANA Health Science product. So I'm just going to say, some, I'm, I'm just going to put a, a test message in here. Um, this is a sample test message with a clear call to action for your fans and customers to read this post or read this document and contact me if you have any questions or if I can be of any further assistance. So the main thing is you're just providing value here. You're giving information, you're showing them the importance of um, in this case a guarantee on this particular product. Um, you're not necessarily selling, you're just giving information. Okay. Um, be sure to, um, you know, if you know of someone who could benefit from this, please feel free to click share below and uh, let's just leave it at that. Okay, so you have, you know, I don't, I don't know what you want to say in your particular case, but in this case, I'm just giving you an example here that you want to be sure to include a clear call to action, what you want them to do. One, you want them to read the document. Two, if they know of someone that could benefit from the information, to share that document. And be sure to put your contact information in here, okay? It's really important that, you know, you either put your website, put your email, put your phone number, something for them to contact you if they have any questions, okay? And the other thing would be to actually tag your fan page. So I'm going to just put um, Libby Webb. That's my fan page, okay? Um, just tag your fan page that way it's like signing off as your fan page that way people can then hover on it and click like you'll end up with maybe some more likes for your fan page that way as well so um, I hope that helps that is exactly what I would do I would upload a photo from the document post a clear call to action sign it with your fan page be sure there's contact information and share the link okay and this exact text all you have to do is highlight this entire post and copy it so now I'm going to hit post and this is going to be on my fan page and this is my sandbox my sample site okay so now you can see it's here I'm going to click the image and now you can see that everything is here now would, don't you think this 
will get more attention in the news feed than just posting that link and how I showed you a minute ago what that would look like, just text. Um, this is going to actually grab some people's attention, possibly, whereas the other will not. Now, in um, Google+, Plus, you can actually do the exact same thing. Um, you can, in Google+, Plus, go in here and upload a photo. Um, upload from your computer. Here's the, here's the image. You can share the exact same text we put over in Facebook. And in this case, um, I'm going to highlight my name here, and I'm going to hit the plus symbol and start typing. And that's my... Um, my uh, business profile in Google Hangouts, excuse me, in uh, Google Google Plus, and I could post that, but I'm not going to because I, I, this is a, a test post, and I don't want to send that out to everybody. But I'm just showing you as an example here. You can do the exact same thing in Google Plus as you can in Facebook with respect to uploading a photo with the link to the document with your call to action text. Okay. And you could, in fact, do the same thing in your personal profile, but ideally what I do in Facebook is anytime I have a business-related post, I always post it on my fan page first. And then from my fan page, I then share to my personal profile. So right here at the very bottom of the image, you can click Share. And you can share that on your personal timeline and put your additional call to action in there, okay? Or you can share it on additional fan pages if you have other fan pages. But the best thing to do is share it out to your personal timeline and then your friends will see it. Okay? If you have any questions, please feel free to drop over to my fan page at libbysfanpage.com and post a question on my timeline. I'd be glad to uh, shoot a short video for you to answer any questions that you may have and help you in any way I can. And be sure to join me every Monday live noon central for my weekly fan page hangout. And that's libbyweb.com slash live to register. Thank you for your time and attention. Hope this has helped you in some small way.